everyone and welcome to 31 days of self-love. As you know, well, we are almost done with this challenge. We've been doing it for the entire month and today we're gonna do uh, day 26. And the main topic uh, we're gonna talk about is uh, what uh, things are you ashamed of and uh, what is shadow self like. But you know, since uh, ashamed things uh, is something a bit harsh, we're gonna think of it as things that you can improve or that you would like to develop further. So uh, I'm gonna be letting this discussion, okay? Uh, I won't be participating, but just feel free to uh, express your thoughts and your feelings, you know? This kind of meetings are just to feel comfortable and exchange ideas and be able to relate and share your knowledge or advice or experience to the other participants. So feel free to interact with each other. Uh, now we're gonna start with Chiku. Uh, yeah, everyone, I'm Chico, I'm in Liverpool. And just quickly before we carry on, I'd like to say that um, our shadow selves are what is in our subconscious or unconscious. Uh, it's the things that we don't want to reveal about ourselves or we don't even want to acknowledge about ourselves. I wasn't going to join this discussion today, uh, but I thought about it. I thought actually I need to hold myself uh, accountable again in front of my friends and my peers. Uh, and do some self-reflection. So for me, the part of myself that I feel uh, I could work on or change is uh, that I get bored very easily. So I like to change activities and uh, change situations and scenarios a lot. So if I'm in, for example, a conversation or an activity for too long, my mind such as, uh, starts to switch off uh, and I want to move on. And I think that might appear to uh, people as if uh, I'm impatient or uh, not interested, but it's just something where my mind switches off. I'd like to work on that more, to be a bit more patient uh, with activities and, and situations. That's good, Tiku. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Chiu, you'll go next. Um, um, for, for me, my, my problem mainly uh, that I would like to work on is patience actually uh, like she could say but not not with activities but more with people i find myself very patient with children i'm actually very good with children and i even worked as a, a kindergarten teacher but when it comes to adults i i tend to be impatient sometimes and i can easily lose lose my temper sometimes a little bit with some people because of that that is something i've been working on actually since childhood develop impatience with people and I, I have to say I've improved a lot when it comes to that. That's good to know that you're like working already on how to improving it and that you're aware of that. Um, yeah. Antonella, your turn. Hi everyone, I'm Antonella and I'm from Italy. Currently I'm an intern in for Wings. So um, yeah, listening to your points is interesting because me as well during this uh, difficult time of COVID-19 and quarantine, I've already started this uh, self-reflection and I would like to work on my level of attention um, because it seems sometimes that I am not listening to people while uh, uh, on the contrary, I consider myself a very good listener. Uh, I have uh, the same uh, more or less uh, uh, issue that Chiku, you have like uh, it's more uh, boredom or <laughs> lack of interest that sometimes I feel in um, art in a topics that maybe I don't know as much so maybe I don't know what to say um, and uh, I really have to work on this because I love being with people as well professionally or also uh, in daily life so I guess it's fundamental that I must improve this yeah and in my shadow self uh, I am uh, lazy uh, these are really fights with my active attitude so i would like to uh, get rid of this as uh, one day i know that if i'm still young i'm 24 so um, during my adulthood i have to work on this because uh, it's part of uh, my character and i was born like that so um, i have to work hard in fighting these two aspects thank you that's very good that you share that antonella it's very interesting that you mentioned uh 
that you are aware of uh, what you should improve. And even though you think that you're good, uh, others maybe don't agree with you. So it's always good to listen to others' inputs in order to improve and be able to uh, develop further like those uh, abilities that you'd like to improve. Um, yeah. Lorena, uh, you can start. Yes, hello, I'm Lorena. I'm speaking from Barcelona. And uh, yeah, actually, I also wrote down that I would like to improve my patience. Also in the sense of activities, because I feel like I'm not enough persistent with things. So I never achieve like how great I can be because I lose my patience and I think, okay, it's not worth it. I'm not good at it. But maybe if I had more willpower, I will be good at it one day. So I think that one thing I've been try trying during these days is to be more patient with myself and with how can I improve doing things with time and not everything rushing. Yes. And what does your shadow self look like? Oh, yes. So my shadow self, I think I also like to work like in an aspect of sadness. Like I think sometimes I'm always giving to others my good self like I'm extrovert easygoing I don't have concerns and that's make people think that like I don't really connect with people so I think it's better to be like more honest with the with the bad part with the bad parts you have so people can really get to know you and connect with people I think that's something I'd like to improve also that's good again being aware of like your shadow self and how you really are is is very positive because uh that means that you know what are your flaws and in that way uh that allows you to uh gain knowledge and and improve that um keshi your turn well uh, my name is keshi i'm from denmark and i want to say that um the, the parts of my personality I wish I could change if I had the possibility were to be more ambitious because um when I look at, look back at my life, I have not been ambitious enough in comparison to my abilities, but now at my age, I feel that I really don't need to be ambitious if if I could go back maybe ten years ago then i would do that but right now i think i'm happy with with what i'm doing and what i am at the moment and my shadow self is that like antonella i think i'm a bit lazy actually i would say i lack self discipline because when i get parts of activity i can be very active and not lazy but other times i find myself procrastinating or not doing what i should do and the other part of my shadow personality is that uh, I'm, I'm not a social person and I don't want to be a social person. And that seems to contrast with me being on this channel because I'm, I'm, I'm a person with two, two parts of my personality, um, an introvert and an extrovert. And sometimes the introvert takes over and I just want to be by myself. And uh, yeah, maybe I can work on that by being on channels such as this, where I get to interact with other people and find value in what others have to say. That's very positive. Uh, and I'm very glad that you decided to share this and join today, especially, you know, it really shows that you're trying to fight that uh, challenge in that sense. Uh, so, uh, thank you for your honesty and sharing that with others. Uh, and it's very interesting what you said that your priorities kind of changed over time. And that really shows something that we as human beings evolve uh, through our lives and our priorities may change and that's all right, you know, and we need to keep adapting on these circumstances. Uh, Shamsa, your turn. Hi, my name is Shamsa. I'm speaking from Manchester. Uh, uh, my uh, you know, nobody is perfect in the world. And uh, my problem is I get angry very easily and I need to work on it. Even I'm not open up about the constructive uh, criticism and I get, uh, you know, furious uh, very easily. Uh, so uh, I'm thinking I should work on it because it's not good for you when you are in people that like, even you are in, 
in your loved ones and they say something for your uh, you know betterment and you get angry easily that's not good for you so i started work on that but it's not working yet but i'm trying hard to get better and my weakness is my angerness and my aggressiveness uh, what do you think mary me yeah so um i mean it's very um, i appreciate that uh, you can um actually be open and tell us that you get angry this is one of the things which um I'm, I'm sure everyone gets angry, but actually admitting that anger, it takes a lot of courage. And thank you, Ready, for sharing that. And if you can work on it, hopefully that will help you. Um, I, I honestly, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And uh, for those who are not angry that much, probably can I give you a tips of how to manage that. Anger. Well, Marie Claire, now that you have the word, what what are the things that you are ashamed of or that you would like to improve? To be honest with you, I think my family or my colleagues know this. Uh, when someone makes me angry, I sometimes keep it to myself mm -hmm. because I always I've always waited until the right time. I don't want to challenge that person straight away. I always want a conversation when everyone is calm. But I sometimes I can keep it to myself, waiting for that uh, perfect time uh, to come so I can be able to have a conversation with someone. But also that may hurt other people at the same time. Because if someone is trying to challenge me, then I don't give myself to that. That might look like I'm arrogant or something like that. So it is something I would like to actually, I don't like anger at all. So, but I want to be able to actually answer someone or say what I'm thinking straight away rather than keep it to myself and getting hurt. You know, um, so I'm, I'm working on that. And what does your shadow self look like? Uh, so I have always been patient, uh, but lately I'm losing my patience. <laughs> I cannot deal with ignorant people, especially I've realized this time of lockdown that everyone is getting through um, the same thing. So when you talk to people and then they think that they are the only ones who are getting through that. You know, it's equal to everyone. Obviously, some people are affected more than others, but I think I needed to give them a chance to explain that. Um, they might be going through actually something worse. I needed to be able to give them a chance to actually explain that. But I think this probably is affected by some people in my life who are like ignorant as well. So I shouldn't take everyone as the same. We're all different. Mm -hmm. I think it's very interesting what you mentioned uh, because we uh, never know what other people might be going through. So yeah. definitely uh, taking that into consideration before telling something to someone is very very important and also the fact that you mentioned lockdown and how it has had an impact on people is definitely a major aspect and usually i think that a lot of people have seen uh their anger for instance uh uh in higher levels than the usual because of the lockdown and the frustration and definitely being at home like uh keshi as you said like procrastinating it's something that people have been really forced to challenge uh during this situation but uh, well it's been it's been very good that you all share your thoughts we've seen like uh like anger and laziness that have uh come up in several occasions as well as like patience and self-control in some way but um does anyone have any to share with others 
uh, I would like to share with also, I attach myself to what Marie Claire said, uh, and um, it is constructive for me to listen someone else sharing my same um, point now uh, because also in this pandemic uh, we have also confronted one uh, moment uh, uh, within each other we are both Libra and uh, the Libra person tend to in fact keep inside the anger but it's good to not wait other people's time it's also uh, more most important to listen our time when it's right time to speak we must open up and speak up for ourselves. Mm. That's very true what you say, Antonella. Like nowadays there are some issues regarding mental health and uh, like personal issues that are kind of taboo and people are kind of afraid or speaking of speaking up and sharing it with others, even if it's close uh, friends or uh, relatives. So uh, this, this self challenge, uh, self love challenges and videos that we're doing are really to encourage people to speak up and, uh, generate this comfortable environment where everyone can share their thoughts and no one's judging them. So, um, does anyone else want to share anything else? I just wanted to say that if, if we have things, we are carrying things in us, maybe we are upset or we have disagreed with someone and we don't express it. So we will we'll actually opening up to getting stress and stress yeah. leads to many, many illnesses like heart mm -hmm. sickness and other emotional issues. So it's best to have a time plan and make a plan and see how you will address these issues so that you're not carrying around a big burden that eventually leads to some uh, breakdown in your health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'd also like to say that sometimes when you hold things in, usually when you do then say something, there's uh, the possibility that you'll explode instead, yes. uh, which is not very useful. So I think it's also an exercise in looking at how you can speak to people assertively. You don't need to shout or get angry. Just state your point uh, assertively. Like I've said before, just say, I didn't like what you said. At that point, address it. Instead of holding it in and then someone pushes you to the wall and you just explode, which yeah. is completely the opposite of you as a personality. Then you feel so guilty after the explosion and then you get even more stress. Uh, so better to just say it at the very start, I didn't like what you did and I'd like for us to talk when we're both um, calm. I would also like to quickly, just before I forget, because I have such bad memory to say, I feel you, Keshi. I'm actually not really a social person, and it ties in with what I said with the patients, because um, I, I feel like I need a lot of energy to be social and friendly. So sometimes I know even with my friends or my closest ones, my families, uh, I'm not uh, available maybe on the phone, because. I'm, that is just not my thing. So this is something I'm trying to work on to be able to to speak to my loved ones on the phone um, and show some patience, not want to get off the phone quickly, you know, uh, and move on. So thank you, Keshi, for for sharing with honesty the the being antisocial because sometimes I feel like that as well. It's it's amazing. I'm already appreciate these um, uh, challenges because you actually realize you know something you have that you didn't realize you have and also you say you know what actually i'm not the only one these are even though you know you know you're not the only one but it's always you need uh, someone to say something to kind of encourage you to admit it to your um you know the qualities that you don't like yourself and you work on them instead of just being comfortable with them because as you chico and the case she said personally i've realized if you keep things to yourself you're right sometimes you end up being you know it explodes and then it puts your emotion and mental health and everything down but also it's good to analogy but also those things are not easy. You cannot change yourself. But I, yeah, the most important thing is to acknowledge and work on them, which I think we, that, that is the point of these challenges anyway. And um, yeah, th thanks for everyone being open and give some uh, advice. Yeah, thank you everyone for joining today. Uh, it's been very insightful and 
it's been a great conversation that we all had and I really appreciate uh, everyone not being afraid of sharing uh, how they feel and you know the things that they are kind of like ashamed of but uh, we should not refer to those things as things that we're ashamed of if not like flaws because I, as I think that Shamsa uh, you said like no one's perfect everyone has their flaws and that's part of who they are and we should be proud but uh, you know it's there's no harm on being like okay I know that I should improve this and this conversation really show it that all of uh, all of you are aware of like the things that you should improve and that's important being aware and knowing of what you should develop further so yeah. thank you very much to everyone for joining today it was a great pleasure to talk with all of you and tomorrow's topic is uh, what's one choice you can make right now that your future self will thank you for. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.